Hey everybody, this is Jim Anthony and this is another CBT Micro Nugget in our Salesforce series. And it's all about creating filtered account lists within Salesforce. So here's the situation. You've got this super talented sales guy on your team and he wants to know if there's any way you can put a list together for customers in Australia and New Zealand that are organized by their owners because he wants to be able to call on those customers in the evenings but he wants to make sure that he's not calling on his teammates customers that he's just calling on his own well we're gonna show you how to create that list right here right now let's go on up here click on the accounts tab and you'll see we have the it kind of defaults to the all accounts tab but let's go or all accounts view sorry let's go over to create new view let's call it accounts in Australia and then we're going to come down and we're going to say filter by owner. You know, do I want to look at just my accounts? If you just want to see a list of just your accounts, you can just click that um, option. But if you want to see all the accounts, but then be able to sort them by owner, we're going to go with all accounts here. And then we'll just set this field here. Let's set the billing country equals Australia. And now we're going to come on down a little bit here. And let's make sure that we can see the billing country on the list when we uh, when we pull it up. So we'll put that in the selected fields. And then it says account owner alias, but those are kind of cryptic sometimes. So what I'm going to recommend is that we come down here and we add the owner's last name. That way you're going to be able to sort by the owner last name or you could sort, sort by the owner alias as well. We'll just come over here to the down box. I'm going to move account owner alias right beside the last name. So when you see this list come up, account name will be on the left, and then account site, and then billing state, phone type, all that. And we'll have account owner alias and owner last name side by side in, in, uh, in columns there. And if it's just one salesperson creating this list just for themselves, we'll say it's visible only to me. You could make this list visible to everybody if you'd like, but we'll leave it this way, and we'll click on Save. And so this is what we come up with here. And the first thing I want you to understand when you come up with a, an accounts list, it says accounts in Australia. Very good. And what you can do is you can click on any of these column headers to start the list. So if you want to sort by account name, we'll click there. Now it's sorted by account name. You can adjust the size of some of these columns. If you don't need that much space for something like that or the type, we can bring that down. And we can uh, kind of scroll horizontally over here and you'll notice that we have the ac account owner alias here and then the owner last name. So as you can see these, these aliases are a bit cryptic so I'd rather just sort by the last name. So let's do that. We'll click on this column and now we'll scroll over again here. You can see how they're all listed out by the name of the, of the owner. Now let's go back and do the same thing for the New Zealand accounts. We're going to create a new view. We'll call this Accounts in New Zealand. And we're going to make it all accounts. Scroll down. The field will be billing country equals New Zealand. We'll come further down here and we'll get that uh, uh, billing country over here in the selected fields section. And then we're going to come down here and grab that owner last name, click on add. I'm going to bring that account owner alias down so that the owner alias and last name are side by side on those columns. Come a little further down the page, make it visible only to me and click save. We'll come up here now. We can see we've got accounts in New Zealand sorted by account name because you can see that little arrow right there. And let's just scroll over here horizontally and you'll see the owner aliases and the owner last name again. Let's go ahead and click on the owner last name. And uh, there now you can see the New Zealand accounts sorted by owner. Now the key, one key thing that we have to understand is when you go into an account let's just pick any account you have to look at what fields you're putting the country in so the field is a billing address field is populated but the shipping address is not now in some accounts you may have the shipping address populated 
um, and the billing address not. So you might want to create another list view that has the shipping address uh, country as New Zealand to make sure you're not missing anything. That might be the only other little tip I would give you there. And that's going to just about do it for now. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.